Hey everyone, I'm ML7 and in this video I'll talk about callouts, but first an introduction into what they are. Communication in Overwatch can be split into two different groups. A. Callouts. The information that you and your team can work with that doesn't involve micro or macro management of your team. And B. Shot calling. Strategies that you want to coordinate with your team that require micro and or macro management of your team. Now, as we all know, Overwatch is a very fast-paced game and shot calling can be hard. It is something done efficiently only in organized groups or in ratings where everybody knows what you're talking about. Callouts, on the other hand, can be used at any rating you are playing in and don't require a lot of in-game experience to do them effectively because, in essence, you call out what you see or what you do. I've divided them into two categories, necessary and useful. Doing the necessary ones is, as the name implies, a must, while the useful ones depend on how communicative your team is. If they're not talking that much, these types of callouts will be your golden ticket to a win. The golden rules of doing good callouts are 1. Do not hesitate. You need to be trustworthy. 2. Be clear. Your team has to understand you. 3. Be concise. Apply the minimax rule. Minimum of effort maximum of results. So, minimum of words, maximum of info. 4. Adjust your volume. If everybody's talking loud and you have useful information to provide, raise your voice. 5. Talk only when you need to, otherwise you're just clogging the comms. And 6. Do not let the flow of the game influence your tone negatively. Communicating with others can help you climb a lot, but sounding mad when your team is starting to lose can affect morale. As you'll see for both necessary and useful callouts, I've split them into game-related callouts and hero-related callouts. This being said, here are the game-related necessary callouts that you should be doing in your games. Low HP targets and enemies out of position. When calling out enemy positions, if using simple directions such as left, right, behind and so on is not enough, try to use these two tricks. 1. Call out the signature structure where you saw them. For example, on Oasis City Center, if you spot Roadhog at Jump Pad, you can say Hog Jump Pad. 2. Use the help packs to help your callouts. There are very few help packs scattered around the area where the teamfight is going on, so most of the players will know what you're talking about. Call the help packs that give you 75 HP minis and the ones that give you 200 HP megas. Here's an example Winston Mega. Important enemy cooldowns. Examples of important cooldowns, Hoax Hook or Vape, Zarya's Personal and Friendly Bubble, Tracer's Recall, Reaper's Raid, Anna Sleep and Nade. Your flankers will love this callout. Tip. You can also call out the key that the ability is usually set to instead of the ability name. For instance, if you're playing on PC, instead of calling Main or Cryo, you can say Main or Shift. Now on to the hero related necessary callouts. Here are a couple of them. When you have ultimate. I have graviton. When you almost have ultimate. I'm close to nano. What you're going to do with your ultimate. I'm going to use window, or you can just say Samsung television, at the choke. When you need healing or peeling. Help Ryan. Or can you heal Winston to your left? Here's a tip. Say the name of your hero instead of me when you're playing with people you don't know. The reason behind this is because... Probably, the majority of people will not recognize your voice and you're just gonna create confusion. And, as we all know, confusion is not good. Now, let's continue with the callouts. Where you're playing from, so your team doesn't play out of your line of sight when playing support. Coordinating ultimates with your other support. I'll use trans for the Sigma ultimate, while you use lamp for anything else. When you're coming back to the team fight, where you're coming from, so your team can walk back a little bit for heals. This is obviously a callout more inclined towards supports, but you can also do it on tanks and DPSs just to let them know when you're gonna be back into the fight. Here's an example for support. Your mercy will be point in 5, coming from the mini. Now let's move on to the useful callouts. The following callouts that I'm going to talk about need to be adjusted to your team's needs. If your team has very good communication, you might not even need them inside the game. 
The reason behind this is you do not want to overclock the team comms. If you have a shot caller that says, let's go left side. If you have somebody that does ultimate hacking already, if you have somebody that called out the thing that you want to call out and you keep on calling it again, although everybody already understood what the first person said, then what you're doing is you're just wasting everybody's time trying to listen to the information that they already have. In game, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. The more efficient you are with your callouts, the better you're gonna be. Considering this, these callouts, as I said earlier, need to be adjusted to your team's needs, and this is how you're gonna use them. If your team is silent, then you should use them. If your team didn't call out the things that you're going to call out, then you should do it. Otherwise, if it's already like called out, forehead, then you better just stick to the necessary ones so you do not break the attention of your team. Hey, I'm Olaf. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. Meow. Now, let's move on to them. First three, the game-related ones. Ultimate tracking. There are two ways to do it. You either call out the enemy ultimates that the team used right after the fight is over, or the enemy ultimates that the team didn't use last fight and might have the next one. In my opinion, the first way should only be used if you can summarize well and fast. An example, they use Bongo, Sigma Ult, Window. They have Trans, Bob and Dragon. Now here's the tip. If it's hard to keep track of ultimates, just take note of your enemy counterpart. For example, the enemy flex supports ultimate. Or keep track of the ultimates you view as important for your win conditions. Their counter to your Graviton Dragon combo is Transcendence, then call out when they use Transcendence or when you think that they have it. Enemy Hero Swaps On the scoreboard, look at the enemy portraits to see when they're going to respawn. After they respawn, check it again to see if any swaps occurred so that you don't get surprised by, let's say, a Widowmaker headshot next fight or even a Bastion. This callout is very important and I can't stress this enough on the second points of Hanamura, Volskaya and Temple of Anubis because the defensive response are right next to the point so the surprise factor of their swaps will happen faster. Hero related useful callouts When you're going to do an important action with your hero here are some examples I'm going in for a res or while flanking with soldier I'm going to flank from the left side Call out strategies that heavily revolve around your abilities so that you have first-hand control on them. I'll rally us in around the corner, or I'll use call on Mercy when playing against the Farah Mercy, try to look to finish her off next fight. And here is another one, I'll speed boost when you high noon McCree. Please take note that the line between shot calling and callouts is purely theoretical and that the purpose of the video is to help you become a better player in Overwatch, so if you spot any inconsistencies, think about the end goal and don't be a troll in the comments. Help with improving your callouts. Firstly, let's talk about the objective ways to improve. Listen to how players communicate in high ranked matches by watching high ranked streamers. Check out Overwatch League mic checks and record a game of you playing and doing callouts and see if you have the keys that we've talked about at the beginning of the video. Subjective ways to improve your callouts. If you're nervous when doing callouts, I'd recommend muting your teammates in voice and text. If you feel comfortable with your teammates, usually when you start winning, you can always unmute them mid-game. If you're affected if your teammates are not listening to you, view it like this. You should always do your job, no matter what. It's their job to listen to you, and if they don't want to, it will affect them in the long term. They will either stay in the RSR, or if they will climb, they won't be able to play and process the information that their teammates are providing. Play when your tone will not wake up the neighbors or family, so your brain will not stress out about this. If you don't have any other option, increase the volume on your mic and bring it closer to you so that even your whispers will sound good in game, while your parents are sleeping in the next room. My opinion on callouts. I do not think that callouts are necessary to get to top 500 or even to top 10. The way I view it, callouts are just another resource to help you become a better player. Now, the problem is that when you reach top 500 and see that you're becoming good at the game, you might start searching for a higher SAR team and try your shot at some tournaments or, who knows, maybe even open Overwatch League trials. Overwatch is a game that requires a lot of communication in games with big stakes and even if there are some notoriously silent players in teams, they still give out the necessary callouts that I've talked about earlier. Additionally, I've seen silence being associated a lot with lack of knowledge, so if you want to get out there, you need to make some noise. This wraps up the video. 
If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe and comment with your feelings about it. If you want to see me play live, head over to twitch.tv slash ml7support and follow so you get a notification when I'm live. For other socials such as Instagram or Twitter or even Discord, check out the description. Good luck in your games and I hope that the tips you have learned today will help you get your dream SR. See ya!